As 2022 comes to a close, I am filled with pride for all that we have accomplished during what will be remembered as the year we returned, refreshed, and re-engaged. It's great to see our campus alive again with the academic experience we are so well known for. Students and faculty returned to the classroom. Staff came back to their workspaces. We came together for convocation ceremonies for the first time in two years. And we welcomed alumni back for homecoming. While we returned, things didn't just go back to how they were before. With learnings from the pandemic, we refreshed how we were doing things. We have adopted hybrid work models for our staff, delivered digital by design co-curricular programming, and we're working to incorporate more digital design in our curriculum. But we were not just informed by the learnings of the pandemic. What drove most of our changes was the launch of our new strategy, Ivy Next. We introduced a new purpose statement inspiring leaders for a sustainable and prosperous world. Our renewed mission challenged us to address the critical issues facing business and society. We have committed to differentiating Ivy in three material ways. First, creating a unique and amplified voice on critical issues. Second, being creative and innovative around the student experience and case teaching 2.0. And third, developing a lifelong learning program for our alumni. While developing the strategy took considerable focus, we have a long list of accomplishments for the year, many directly related to accomplishing our strategic goals. We expanded the HBA program by two sections and welcomed our largest student body in history with 2,127 students across all programs. The inaugural Master in Management and Analytics cohort graduated. We launched a new Women in Asset Management program to prepare women for careers in the field and we got to celebrate by ringing the bell to open the Toronto Stock Exchange. As global citizens, we welcomed nine Ukrainian exchange students fleeing the war. They came into our Ivy MBA program. And we made significant progress on equity, diversity, and inclusion initiatives by embedding EDI in learning modules, foundational practices, and our planning tools. To support our new programming, we welcomed 18 new Ivy faculty and increased the representation of both women and racialized groups in our full-time faculty. Our faculty research received 68 external grants worth $2.2 million, and we provided an additional $1.5 million in research funding through new awards and fellowships. Our students launched an initiative to combat food insecurity in London, volunteered with local organizations, fundraised for Ukraine, and made their voices heard. We welcomed our first female chair of the Ivy Alumni Network Board. We celebrated the 30th anniversary of the Leader Project, the 20th anniversary of the Lawrence National Center, and officially celebrated the 30th anniversary of the Ivy Business Leader Dinner with an in-person event. It was fabulous. We are looking forward to another big anniversary, Ivy's 100th in 2023. We will be celebrating our legacy all year and looking forward to the next century with renewed purpose. I am very proud of what we've accomplished together in 2022. Thank you all for what you have done to make this year exceptional. I wish you and your loved ones a safe, restful, and joyful holiday, and all the best in the year to come.